Good Friday morning. I'm Cody Adams with your Concha Valley This Morning update. A San Angelo man and woman charged in the death of a 21-month-old child appeared in court on Thursday. 35-year-old Andrew Fernandez and 27-year-old Leslie Moreno are charged with capital murder in the death of her son. In March of last year, police arrived at the home on Junia Street to find an unresponsive toddler. Nathaniel Quesada was later pronounced dead at the hospital. An autopsy report showed the toddler died as a result of multiple vertebrae fractures and blunt impact trauma. A trial date has not been set. The Truth About Health Care was last night's topic of the monthly Truth About series. In the sub-community room at the Tom Green County Library, people heard from Dr. Jane Ryder. She's a retired former chief of pediatrics at Community Medical Center. Dr. Ryder talked about the current health care system, private insurance, and Medicare and Medicaid, and offered some ideas about options for improving the health care system in the United States. Next month's community forum, Truth About series, sponsored by Tom Green County Democrats, will be the truth about the border crisis on June 27th at the County Library downtown. Town. Five San Angelo EMS technicians received Lifesaver Awards during a breakfast at Community Medical Center. They received the award for helping a patient whose life was in danger with a rapid response. The patient and family members attended the breakfast to personally thank the EMS workers. This week, Community Medical Center is organizing breakfasts for men and women who work in emergency medical services. National EMS Appreciation Week will be celebrated across the country later this month on May 19th through the 25th. Time now to see what's happening in the weather department. Bon, it's uh, going to be chilly today. It is going to be chilly, but I love it. I love the cooler temperatures. It'll be 58 degrees for your high this afternoon. Showers will be likely with isolated thunderstorms rolling through, not looking at any severe weather potential, so that's good. We want to see the rainfall, but we don't want to see the gusty winds and the hail. The winds will be out of the northeast anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we head into tonight, 48 degrees for your overnight low, still keeping up with those showers and chances to see isolated storms. Even as we head into tomorrow, isolated storms continuing for the Concho Valley. A little bit warmer, 70 degrees for your high temperature, northerly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And those isolated storms will stay with us as we head into Mother's Day on Sunday as well. But temperatures still comfortable, 78 degrees in the 70s for some of next week as well.